Hi, friends. How's everybody doing? I see we have Sonia, Kylie, Julie, Marguerite, Becky. Hi. So I'm by myself today and uh, I have taken some volunteers uh, to help with chat and keep everything kind of flowing. Remember, if you have uh, something for me to see, since I'm going to have paint on my hands, uh, just put it in all caps. And hi, Sarah, uh, just so I can see it. Uh, and I'm going to have my phone in front of me. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, that's kind of an old picture, but it, it mostly looks the same. I actually have made the, the one on the far um, right is one that I made. Oh, kitty. No, 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 baby. Um, and hi, Heather. The other two, uh, I don't know what they were made for, but I found them secondhand. And I think one of them's for sewing. I'm not really sure. But you can make those very easily. And I mean, very easily. So I just use old trays or you can use bowls. Um, get some good glue, some, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of ways to do it. So yeah, you should try to make one and you don't have to have though. You can get for about seven bucks. You can get the, um, things that, you know, the, the actual lazy Susan hardware that turns to use, but you could just use, um, the two tin pie pans with the marbles that works great. So yeah. Hey, Yolande. You're out with hubby, so we'll watch the replay. Oh, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing something fun. It's pretty gray here. Hey, Lexi. How you doing? You're going to switch over to the TV? Oh, I love to be on the big screen. <laughs> Warts and all. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do today, I have a cat on my shoulder, so let me put her in her bed right here. Um, what I plan on doing today, and I need to open up YouTube so I can watch that and put it right in front of me, not get a kink in my neck. Uh, talk about the journal that we have coming up, which I would like to, you know, the people that do collages and they're all sort of crazy, um, you know, and they play with scale. They do a lot of, uh, it, it's more stickers and things like that. I, I want to do that with gel prints. I want to stretch myself to a bit of a crazier page in an art journal um, with this one, with this traveling show. So what I'm going to do is break up my gel plates, have a little play, create some pages and grunge up some pages. I kind of went through my gel prints and I, uh, I got to open YouTube. Sorry. I kind of went through my gel prints and found this one and that one, and I'm going to use sort of brighter colors than I normally do. I don't reach for the red very often. Like I, I need to add more red. I do have a color palette in mind. Let me get this open here. Got a, you know, boy, there's a lag. There's always lags. Okay. So it's going to be sort of grungy, steampunky, you know, it's the traveling show and we have a shape in mind, but I think I'm going to do it like this journal right here. Um, I, and now I'm not totally, I mean, I'll decide before we start that next time, but I'm thinking I'm going to be doing the gluing back to back because that actually makes the pages really sturdy. So it's easier to open, you know, um, and it also creates this channel down the middle because I want to make like some little flags to stick up out of our, out of our uh, fun little thing. So um, it's, it's, it's a fun way to do that. Plus you can get it to lay flat. However, this is the thing I'm thinking. If we put some 3D items in that are chunky, which is you're allowed to do really, if you have a journal that goes like this, um, it is hard to work on the next page if you have a lot of chunky there. So you kind of have to, you know, move it back. But anyway, um, that's kind of my thought there. Um, I did a little playing. <clears throat> I couldn't help myself. It's been a long time since I had my gel print out uh, or my gel plates out. I mean, ages and ages. So, oh, thank you, Kylie. It was actually for a, um, oh good, you're venturing into it. It was for a hop project. I don't remember what that one might've been the moon. It might've been something to do with the moon. Uh, I can't remember exactly. Oh, did I write on the back? 
Moon goddess in inspired. Yeah. I love um, the different things that I added inside. You know, and I do often stray into sort of an abstract playing with scale and all that, but I want to do a combination of those crazy sort of collages um, mixed with the art journaling and the junk journaling. So it's like an all combined sort of, you know, I want to get a little weirder, I guess. Is that possible? Can I get a little weirder? I'm pretty weird. <laughs> Um, so I am going to, yeah, I haven't been, I haven't been gel printing. I have a lot of gel prints and I have this habit of creating like a thousand prints and then over a few weeks time. And then I use those prints for a while, but I do need some new stuff to go with this because we're going super like, kitty. You've got to get in your bed. I can't, you're not my co-host. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I just, I just want to get a little weirder, but, um, so we're going to create some new prints today, kind of with that in mind. Where do I set this? Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of what I have going on here. So this is where I had used the tree stamp and I'm, I'm thinking I want to make some things on my round plates, although you can just cut out around, uh, to do lots of circles in it. Um, you know, like, and if you make a, say a circus poster, perhaps, and put some curtains around it, then this is your, you know, sort of center. This one, I put my trees around and put respect your mother. And I just love this. This is going to have to go in a future sort of something. I already kind of have an idea for our next one when we get done with this, by the way. And I think it's going to be fun. So I want to do lots of um, sort of, I want to use the stencils I don't use very often. That's what I want to use. I love this one because it looks like pennants. And I did pull out things that need more stuff on them. Oh, that doesn't go there. And I pulled this one before we went live just for, hey, Charmaine. Welcome. Um, so these are the kind of colors I'm thinking right here. I do have this. I'm going to do lots of grunge in it. And that's my um, stamp that I carved that's in the PM Artist Studio uh, shop. And there's another one with those sort of unexpected colors. And then I just kind of blot it off and, you know, maybe I'll even cut out some of these shapes and put in the corners and stuff. Um, it's an opportunity to use your stamps, use magazine cutouts, use paint, use your ink, you know, go crazy. Do um, any sort of mixed media you want really on it. Um, and and have a good time doing it so uh i i do love that it's grunginess so what i did here let me pull these out so i've got one bin with some scrapbook paper in it one and i did way back when get this sort of circusy i saved that too sort of circusy um it's it's just like a little thin set of papers um i've had for a while and what I'll end up doing is cutting these out probably and adding them into the collage. But, you know, I just want to go a little nuts. Um, and I have a circus book as well. We're going to be cutting a template either way, and it can have one swoop. But I generally recommend if you're planning to make your prints up ahead of time, you're going to want them to fit in your journal if you use them as a whole page. So what I've done here is taken a regular size piece of paper is actually the cover of a you know you can see and i've made my template that way so i know that this is going to be the size i need that was a good piece of inspiration from printing back when it's gonna it's gonna fit that that way i know so i'm not doing a lot of extra weird cutting you could do a smaller version of it as well but planning ahead of time helps when you're gel printing so um so those are good templates for this so i went through my prints and i found things like this um i mean that's been sitting in the box forever and this was pulled with a i can see with a color shift that i made um a couple years ago and then it's got spray on it 
from my, you know, spray box. I have all these red and white papers and they're, that white is just too bright for me. Way too bright. <laughs> hey, Uda. <laughs> um, so what I did was I took some of the, the walnut spray um, and some oxide spray and just kind of did some testing on it to see and I'll end up grunging it up so it's just not so in my face white because it, grungy is never white. I mean, you know. Um, so I do have these and I'll spread these in throughout and they might go on the back side. So when you open it up, they're on the left, you know. Um, I think red and white stripes are kind of important for a circus tent. And this is a traveling show. So I'll have a snake oil salesman page, stuff like that. It'll be fun. I did take out some scraps that I have here for inspiration. Um, and they're old, old scraps, you know, lots of inspiration here. This one's a little bit too bright, but I mean, those are going to be sort of my colors that go together. Kind of what I'm looking for today, like that. Just a little plan, you know. And of course, I am going to make lots of other pulls too. So whatever fits in, fits in. And you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'll use them in another project. Um, these are old. This is a good piece of inspiration. And I, this was weird colors that I used together and I want to kind of recreate this with some other pulls. So I'm going to set this off to the side because I want to do this again, sort of, if I can figure it out. Uh, I kind of went through my stencils and figured out which ones kind of go together. Here's some more inspiration. And here's that scrapbook paper. Like I have one bin. There's for my snake oil salesman. Got some black and white stripes. Gonna need some cardstock. I do know that. So it's possible I'll be printing on the back of these or I'll just use my dies to cut some of these out for some of the shapes inside, like maybe a frame or um, maybe some punches, you know, so just kind of planning ahead to see what I can do and what I want. Let me put all of these to the side. And did you guys start a bin yet? Um, I think that is the most fun part when we start digging through our stuff going, Oh, this goes and this goes. And, you know, cause then we remember, we find things we forgot we had um, in the first place and things maybe we want to put ahead for another project, um, which is fun. So I have started a bin. I hope everyone else has too. Uh, did you say where your circus images came from? The, the ones in the paper pack just came from Timu or AliExpress or something. It was a long time ago. Hi, Rhonda. I'm so glad you made it. Um, but there are resources everywhere on um, Pinterest. And Lisa compiled a Pinterest um, list for everyone to go check out. So she's done the work. If you want to print any of those off. And I think she was trying to create sort of a place to email them. And Becky, didn't you do something like that? Um, I think, I think Becky did too. Um, so we will find you some resources for some extra images. Um, and, and mostly you can make them yourself. I mean, if you have a stamp with a girl on it or you can cut out of a magazine, you can give her a funky headdress and, you know, some weird painted, you know, circus clothes or turn her into a clown. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing that without having to have actual circus images. So um, just keep that in mind that, you know, sky's the limit and to look for resources in many places, really. Um, so I'm going to set all of these aside here. The, the last thing I did was I pulled aside, you know, when you have your ghost prints or your, you know, your first print you pull. I've got a lot of those here. So I think I kind of went through some of them. I am going to use some of these on the gel plate and continue working on them. So um, some of them, you know, some of them are from projects. That's with stamps on it. I really like that one. It's kind of white, but you know, anyway, Rhonda, there's your, my favorite stencil. See that? 
<laughs> That's okay. Um, oh, thank you, Rhonda. I really appreciate that. Um, Julie, really? You can look anywhere. You, you can. Do you have a seal? Do you have a round punch? Maybe you could put a punch on a seal's nose or, you know, like I said, cut girls out and give them a new look or a headdress, or it could be, um, uh, carnival style, uh, in Brazil. It can be, you know, Mardi Gras, any sort of traveling crazy party or traveling show, I think would go with this sort of theme. You know, you can make it work. So, uh, anyway, so let's get the gel plate out. It's been so long and I do know that we can get rusty. So I've got this on here with my new stamp and there's so many different ways you can make patterns with this, but I was just playing with it after I conditioned it and it crazed a lot. And I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to pull that. It's like a beige color, I think. So I've got this beachcomber beige. Oh, I might have a few favorites in a month or so. <laughs> I wish I could afford um, to purchase them. I am, you know, a broke girl. I am going to have a starving artist sale soon. Very soon. Um, that's why I'm making the things I have been working on, like the, the frame. So I'm just going to use regular paper for this one. Just get it get it going here and then we'll start some new plates. Oh, I missed that sound right there. That squeaky sort of gel printing, the song of my people, you know. <laughs> so the pages are gonna be like a five by seven, you know. Um, so these would have to be, I would either have to continue it on the other half of the page if I'm going to fold it in half and want a continuous design, though, I don't really think that matters if I'm going to go nuts on the pages, you know, and have them make a uh, crazy party sense, you know, it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, it crazed nicely. Got lots of cool little marks there. Yeah, I like it. Um, so let's get something else on here. Actually, I kind of want to start with my eight by ten so it can be drying because that is a whole page, you know, a whole when it opens up. So I kind of tried to get out of the light here. I moved over just a little bit. I know there's a glare. I wish there wasn't. Sorry, guys. Uh, I've got the stencils here. So I want to start with probably something small here and work my way. And I imagine I'll have lots of circles where I, you know, that, so they're kind of framed on each side. So those are good sort of geometric things here. Uh, I kind of want to use like that one with a smaller, um, and maybe I'll go crazy and I wish this was as big as my plate. How about some of these to go on the other sides? Oh, boy, it's been ages. I don't even know. I've heard of close to my heart. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Really glad. Um, I don't even know who those people are, Julie. It's not a thing here, <laughs> I guess. You know, I'm going to go all the way over. I'm choosing a small pattern so that it shows up on a larger pattern that I'll get to. And some of my pages I'll just be doing on in the book when I get it together. I'm just creating backgrounds to get started. So maybe I go like that, just 
some backgrounds, you know, and maybe ugh, they don't fit. No, no, maybe I'll just go like this. Okay. And that's fine for right now. Just eight by 10. I want to do a lot of doodling and, you know, things like that. Oh, well, Julie, if it's being absorbed, it would be okay. Um, because that just means that all those things are going to be available in that other shop too. You know, that'll be fun, actually, I think. Okay, so as far as color goes, I'm going to want my darkest colors first. And maybe I'll do blue, blue on top or just blue in this whole area. And then be a lighter blue over here. So I'm going to do it a little different, you know. Um, so I'm going to use blue. I'm using duller colors. Um, so not completely bright. And if I need to dull them out, I can spray them in the end. That would be fine. That's, you know, the walnut spray that I make is perfect to dull them out if I feel like they're too bright. So that nice navy. And I'm going to put a bit of navy on this one too, I think. And then we're going to use, I have a whole puddle of red here. I don't want that. Maybe I do. Do I want red? Should I do red? I just don't want to risk some pink happening, you know, if I pull it with something white. Well, or cream. So cardstock would be a better base for all of them and gluing the papers to it would actually make the pages a lot stronger. And then you're not, you don't have to use a whole page that way too. There we go. Should I, let's go back over that. Just, oh, I picked it up. So I'm going to let this dry for a minute and then I will go back over this with another bit of a color and because it's wet right now. And then we'll pull it after it dries. So I'm just going to leave that there and let's go to our round. I love the round plates. I really do. If, if you don't have a round plate, I highly recommend it. And they're cheaper too. Okay. So with the round, um, what if I did like a, my stencils up here. So I'm thinking lots of sort of geometric pieces, like these are good for this. Um, I really love this one, you know. Maybe I should use that because all of those things can be cut out and used in the journal at a later time, you know. Um, and then perhaps, the only problem with the round is figuring out how to use them unless you use just a book full of rounds, you know? Okay. So I want to do, what if I did really steampunky colors here and went for like rusty looking? Is Mariah here? I see somebody talking to Mariah. I don't see. Hi, Mariah. <laughs> um, I am missing some chat here, so just so you know. Is Carrie, are you okay? Your daughter is, is awaiting trial for allegedly getting a hit. What? Oh, Carrie. Can, can we all just send some good good vibes that way. And wow. So my, yeah, my round book was a perfect way to use these. I'm just going to put a little bit of this here and there, and then I'm going to get another color. I'll 
watch me make a mess. These ones I recently got from Walmart in my grocery order. Okay. So it's, it's pretty sad when people can Google us, I think. Um, if you're the topic of, of a Google like that, you know, I don't dare Google myself. <laughs> How about you guys? <laughs> so I'm just kind of mixing it together. I don't necessarily need it to blend. I want a little bit of color here and there. And then I'm going to pull it with some tissue. Because I have a plan here. I hope. I hope I have a plan. Pull it with some of this. Some of my favorite crispy tissue. Fold it in half, I know. You know, the, the round book I shared also uses a, a lot of pages. Um, you can go through so many, because you can make it as thick as you want. There's no binding, you know, involved. Um, it just uses so much. Okay, and then I want to go over it with some of this color of, or no, this color of blue. It's kind of a patina color. Kitty, get off my desk. She wants her own gel plate, I guess. I'm going to have to put her out if she does it again. Oh, not your daughter, Carrie. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little of this here and there. I'm just going to let the colors blend together. I'm not worried about it being wet. Yeah, that created some, it's kind of got the, the, the outlines for different, you know, like when you do a, what is it called? A long, long haul. Um, but I also have some bits of blue in there. So it, it worked out the way I wanted it to. I'll get this off my, out of my way. So with this one as an inspir, I just, you guys look, I stuck my arm on it. I'm gel printing. <laughs> um with that one i'm thinking i'm gonna pull it with some cream um because i <laughs> i can't believe i gel printed my arm <laughs> maybe i should take this paper here and get some of that off of there <laughs> it was a lot of pain so so we got to wait for this to dry before we can do anything. And we'll pull out another one of these old prints and see what we can do to soften the colors. And those are PM Artist Studio stencils. I'm going to put this to the side. Let's see it. Ooh. Um, okay. Five by seven. I really asked, I asked for a, a large plate for Christmas from my husband, like a, like a nine by 12. And he couldn't find my list when he went to it, you know, like I, I put it in the safe for later and he went to things I had been marking with a heart for Christmas gifts and got me other things completely. He went totally rogue on me. And, um, then I told him, how about for Valentine's day? Uh, a big plate. And then he forgot Valentine's day. He does first time he's ever done that, but he's been working a lot. So I forgave him. <laughs> so one day I'm going to get a big plate. <laughs> Hi, dusty unicorn. What do we call you? Welcome. <laughs> yeah. 
you ordered a nine by 12 for yourself for a birthday present. Yeah. Oh, I just, I feel like I want to, I could use it in sections and fill up my whole desk and, you know, it's kind of a thought. So to tone this down, I am thinking I'm going to pull out, I want something transparent. I know that. So it needs to be transparent and maybe I should try a color shift color. Maybe that would be the way to go. And that's kind of a purple. Um, and it's some layered and it's just from pulling prints, you know, so hmm, purple and orange make, or I could just go for this. And all I need to do is roll it out twice and, you know, shift my paper, I think. So let, let me do this. I'm so stingy with these because I don't want to run out. <laughs> Took a long time to get these to commit to spending that much on a little teeny tiny thing of paint. But uh, one of my favorite colors. So I'm going to use this actually. Go over some of that. Not waste it. And let's do this. And then I can also spray it with brown, but it crazed on there because I just cleaned all my plates and conditioned them. So I can go over it with a couple different layers. Shouldn't need to stay. I can go around the edges also. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. Did we catch Dusty Unicorn's name, anyone? I'm here by myself today, so um, I am trying to keep up with chat while I kind of have, I have a leg in on each side of the line right now. So uh, Julie and Kylie are, um, they volunteer to help and be in charge um, today. So if you have a question, make sure to Make sure to put it in all caps for me and I'll try to catch it. Um, so that gives me my sort of red color and that tone that backed and almost looks blue. That purple does. So I'm not mad at it. Um, maybe I should try this one, the Nickel Azo Gold. The other side. So if I do glue them back to back, the, the book, um, I only want to do one side because it'll be back to back with a print on the other. Um, so that's fine. Uh, if I have white backs, you know, I'm just going to have to make sure I have strong pages. So if I'm going to use a piece of cardstock, I'm going to want like regular paper on the other side or another piece of cardstock. But in every fold, I need one piece of cardstock um, to show. So it's strong enough when we open it and it stands up on its own. You could use recycling here. Cereal boxes are great. Oh yeah, those are good. So I'm going to continue around these edges and just kind of blot and pick up, um, just, you know, so gold, probably more. And the next one, I'll pull out some color shift paints that I borrowed from Lexi that are going back to our retreat, um, to, dull down some of the gel prints. Just kind of one more time. One more time. Got a lot of good crazing going on here. Okay. 
And so I'll probably even go back in when I do the book and do like with my white um, Posca, draw around some things and create, you know, bring some of that out. Um, but this gives me a nice, good base um, for some pages. So I like that's been sitting in my box for so long. It's been a couple of years since I first got this stencil and um, I was using the uh, round ones a lot. Um, so, you know, I'm glad to do something with it here. It's still very white right there. All right. So I'm going to set that aside. Done with that one. Now, I want to recreate these colors specifically. So it looks like I picked up with, it looks like silver actually, which is not something I reach for very often, and that's fine. Um, maybe this color of blue, silver and cream, I think. It's kind of a pewter color, actually. It looks pewter, maybe because of the cream. So I'm going to put down, let me find a stencil. Oh gosh. Um, kind of want like one of these ones this time, I think, because I really like these designs on here. Very, you know, I'm going to be using a lot of circles, so it's, you know, nice and Everything is round. Okay. Oh, decluttering is so hard. Um, I actually, you guys know I want to flip this room. And I need to make sure that I have proper time to do it. And between, because I am live the first and third Saturday of each month, it means that, oh, did I use blue first? It means that, you know, I would have to get it done in two weeks and that's not possible. I'm going to have to have my husband put my bracket that's screwed to the ceiling also, um, on the other side. So however I do it, I'm, I'm going to have to have that moved and decide when the best time to do that is have to move some furniture and I really need some energy. <laughs> so, but I am going to do it. Just don't know when. I think I need to pre, I had paint on there. Look at the color. Go a little green. I think I'm going to need to pre-record a couple premieres so that I can do it that way. And, you know, then I can just be in the premiere and yeah. So let's see. I'm going to Use this again, kind of pull that paint off of there. I think that's pretty close to the color we have on there. Pretty close, maybe. And then I'm going to use, how did I do the pewter? I did this so long ago. <laughs> oh, I left the stencil on there. Well, I'm going to have to do that again. Let's leave it on there. Line it back up. And there we have it. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to let that dry before we go in with a silver color. It's a little crooked, isn't it? I, I'm a little crooked, so it'll be like a drop shadow. All right. Let's pull this one back out. Oh, we still haven't done this one. So earlier, I did those same rusty colors with the blue. And I used these PM Artist Studio stencils, and they are the gears. Because I'm going to want some things that look a little steampunky. So I think I can pull that now. And then let's put something here, just because. Just because. Let's pull one out of here, I guess. Oh, let's do another one of these. I think this shape is really good for the plan I have. Sort of, you know, sunburst, this kind of shape. Um, so that's really good. Let's go with a different color. Hey, I want to do some black and whites, I think. It doesn't sound very exciting, but yeah. 
uh, what brand is the stencil? Which which one? Um, the one I just used on here. Is this what you want? I think this is a. I think this is from because I like to find them with this hole in it so I can put them on a ring. Uh, I think it's just from Amazon and it just came in a set. So I always look for sets I don't have if I'm, you know, have a little something I can spend on Amazon so that I can continue adding to my rings. And they, they just hang on a cup hook um, on the side of my metal cabinet that has all my stencils in it. So what I want here is some high contrast, really. My plates are so conditioned. I just, just did it. So that's going to craze all over the place. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and let it dry. Ooh, that looks cool, doesn't it? That does look cool. <laughs> Did you guys see um, some people printing on their um, silicone mats like a gel plate? It's really amazing. It, they just used it like a giant gel plate. And we may have to try that. I think that's cool because that means I don't need a giant gel plate. I have one, right? There's a lot of paint on that one. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one with, and if I kind of keep that in mind, maybe I could pull it with some silver. Maybe that's a good idea. What you guys think? Silver? I'm not sure. Uh, is it one of Fran's? Because I think that was from before they were doing, wasn't it before they were, uh, had, uh, designers. I, I really thought it was, but maybe not. Fran was the first one though, right? Is that right? Maria is Maria here. Well, Heather, good luck to the, good luck to the reorganizing. Sonia, I missed something. I had no idea it was a thing. I just wanted a full page. Are you guys talking about, um, talking about the stencils for cake decorating? I have some of those um, and they have that hole in them and go on a ring and they're very large. Uh, they were really cheap and they had, you know, some basic shapes, but they're great for the gel plate. I mean, they're not any different than what we use. So, okay. So I'm going to find some pewter here. Not a color I use often. I think it's probably dried up knowing me. I have, oh, this one's probably dried up. It's too light, maybe. I do love the pewter. Um, I have some embossing powder that's pewter, and it is beautiful. I hope this comes out. I, I seriously haven't used this in years. Okay. Oh, Mariah's not here. I thought somebody was saying hello earlier. Okay. Pretty sure that's the color I used on that, actually. Let's pull. So I figure with the circles, I'll be cutting them out to add them. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I'll be cutting them out to add them to the pages and maybe putting them in the center or, you know, putting a collection of them and letting them overlap on each other. Yeah, the silicone mat. 
um, and this one is huge. He did get me this for Christmas. It was something that I had put a heart on a long time ago, and I, I had wanted a like a, a new mat because mine is pretty dingy, a cutting mat, and he got me this at least. So <laughs> he finally admitted that he couldn't find the list. <laughs> pretty funny so now let's leave it for a minute okay i'm gonna move on here this is very wet still all right now we can pull our eight by ten and that's all my gel plates i have the three sizes of the rounds a five by seven and an eight by ten okay i do want to put maybe another i'm gonna pull this up and see what it looks like see how it maybe not maybe it's okay because i've got the outlines okay so let's do, so I left that there because I was going to put another color in here, but I guess I don't need to, if it looks good. Let's do this. This is one of my favorites, by the way, and I have a larger one like this, but it's, it's so gooped up from use um, over and over and over again. It's pretty funny. I, I really love it, though. And that really goes with the theme of the the ancient traveling show. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna pull this with colors, colors, colors. Maybe some, um, maybe some of this blue over here what do you think and am i missing anything oh you used an old mouse mat that's probably a good idea too these are really cheap the silicone mats really cheap <laughs> the whole showed up from me <laughs> Where, you know, the punch in the top. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll do this color throughout. Or, that seems boring to me. Maybe I go back to that sort of pewter color here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, dusting off the plates, it's not like riding a bike, I think, um, in my opinion. Um, you have to remember how you did it. Uh, I mean, I can look at things that I made a couple years ago and I'm still confused. Um, but, you know, sometimes I'm understanding what how I got there. Um, but I feel like it takes a fair amount of practice to get back into it because you forget how almost. Not like riding a bike. They usually sell these mats in packs of two also. Um, if anyone is looking into that and I may, I may have to try this big one. I think it'll be fun um, just to see. And then my dreams of owning a overpriced um, giant gel plate is um, unnecessary at that point. I'm going to roll a little bit of that on there too. All right. Now let's see. I've got a piece of cardstock here. I think this is matte photo paper but it got mixed in with my other stuff and i'm gonna use it oh you have a michael's gift card well that's good heather it's really hard to clean the glue off of your i i keep taking down my um silicone mat between live streams and I give it a good scrub, and I've even used um, the magic eraser on it. It gets the paint right off. I, I soaked it in the sink first. I take it down with my brushes. I have a bin that I put it all in so I can walk down the stairs with it. Um, we're gonna leave that for a minute. It still feels kind of cold. So when, when I'm not on camera, I... Uh, power gel plate. <laughs> I tend to go really fast 
and end up disappointed in some of them because I just whipped through it and didn't give it enough thought really. Um, and that's part of, you know, the practicing again and trying all over. So let's see color here. I, I just think the cream for this one. What do you guys think? Cream. I clearly haven't used alcohol ink on that one. Um, cream, 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 or maybe I go back to the pewter since I'm kind of enjoying that. Or gold. I think pewter. Let's do it. Power gel printing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I didn't catch the cream in time. Sorry. We'll do another one with cream. How's that? Yeah, I'll end up with like a thousand prints for, for over a couple days time. And I'll, I will end up in my art room more uh, because of it. Because I will leave it on my desk. And that, it's not something I normally do. I usually clean it up. I'm going to go all the way down. Because... I'm going to end up cutting it out, we know, and, or just using it on one side. So so I think I'm going to go back to those same colors again, if this is the way I'm appreciating. I think it needs more blue next time more blue. Maybe I ought to do a long haul with this specific stencil to get a lot of stuff in those edges or another one that fits on my plate perhaps. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. Now which one is ready? Ready. Okay, so we've got this one. I put the thing back on. I was trying to do those colors. I know it's crooked. It's okay. Um, I kind of want to do, let's see, got the pewter and then I pulled it with cream. But that color changed ever so slightly. So, and it's going to end up looking like a drop shadow. So I think I want to do like brown and then pull it with the cream. Suggestions? I've got this navy I could do. How do we feel about that? Oh, red, black, and pewter. I should do one like that. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah, or pewter. <laughs> hey, if um, if you guys haven't yet, I would love a thumbs up. Um, just, you know, to let YouTube know you were here and you enjoyed it. That would be amazing. Um, and I'm not really good at the whole spiel thing, and I'm sorry about that. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and come join the fun. Um, if you don't know what we're doing next, I'm going to do the maybe it's in my hand. Uh, if you don't know what we're doing next, we are creating a an art journal in the shape of a circus tent when it opens. But it's going to be not your average circus. So not like a kid's circus, more like um, Carnival or uh, Carnival Row from uh, Showtime and Amazon. Um, darker, uh, maybe more turn of the century, not not this last one. Um, a little steampunk perhaps, you know, but everybody's own interpretation of it. So a traveling show could be anything from, you know, uh, a, a snake oil salesman, a fortune teller. Um, I'm going to have things like that. You could create a freak show and do like uh, different cutouts of um, people in magazines and, and piece them together like Frankenstein, you know. All right. Well, that's not bad. That is not terrible. Hmm. Kind of keeping this one going here. Let's lay that down. I always think I need to go really fast and I don't know why. Like uh, maybe because I'm live and I want to keep you keep you excited. 
but um, it, I end up with prints I just don't like. Ah. Sorry, it's yellow. I'm gonna let this dry. And I will leave those on the edge, but I could wipe it off. Should have done it the other way around, but I didn't know that blue was going to change a little bit. So if I had done a drop shadow, done the navy first, and then the, the drop shadow in the, in the lighter color, um, it would have been cool too. So let me see what's ready here. I think this one's still cold. This is why I need more plates, guys. I think this one's ready. Uh, Sonia has a set of freak show public domain from Flickr. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of them creep me out and I, I wouldn't use them, but, um, uh, we could make our own and that's the fun part, you know, like g give somebody giant eyes and somebody else giant hands. And, you know, you can really play with scale a lot. Ooh, that's pretty cool guys. Oh, you covered an image of a man in a top hat. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could uh, do a, a, a female ringmaster. That would be fun. Maybe I know I have a top hat stamp that I've probably never used and I've had it cause I got it in like a lot. Um, but perhaps uh, I could, you know, stamp some of those up, cut them out and add them to things. I'm sure I have some stamps that'll be useful. I, I probably will end up with more stuff than I realize in the end and have to do a second one. <laughs> so I, I really like the way that came out. So we're going to pull this. Is it dry? It is. It, it's iffy. It's just a, a satin paint. So it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's dry. Okay. Maybe this one is red. What do you guys think? <laughs> Do they have circle silicone mats? Um, they might for rolling out pie, pie crust. They could, or at least one that has a circle on it in different sizes so that you can, because they make them for baking. What do you guys think of red? Red? no, uh, no objections to red. So I'm doing it, doing it. Here we go. <clears throat> when you use, um, black and white, your images that you end up adding, uh, become really dramatic, um, and stand out more. I really like that idea too. Or, you know, using colors like this, there's the cat on the move again. I don't want, you know, I'm going to use another piece, but I really don't want to go over that. So we're going to go like this. It's a lot of paint. Take a minute. I'm going to leave that grunge on there. We'll, we'll build that one back up. I'm going to set this over here. <clears throat> oh, Nora Jones. I don't know what you're talking about, but I love Nora Jones. Okay, let's build. Oh, we forgot to build this up. I can do that. Well, that was silly. Don't put it away. All right. So I, I really love this. It does look rusty in person, by the way. And it almost matches our, our, uh, look at that, they go together so nicely, our inspiration. So let's use this for inspiration this time and use these colors. This is one that I'll end up, you know, using in the book. Um, so I'm thinking the red, this terracotta sort of color, the red, um, and the blue and I don't quite have that blue. So, uh, uh, I probably have that blue over here. Let me look. Uh, 
Uh, let me see here. I mean, probably. Yeah, look at that, if it's not dried up. Some of these I don't, I mean, these are um, colors I use, but I really think that, the, except for the red, uh, they're not the ones I reach for all the time. And some of them I've had since college. Crazy, I know. Okay, so I'm going to find something fun to put on there. Like maybe this first centered like that, and then maybe something in the middle, um, like stars. I could do stars or something like that, and then I'm just gonna dab it in. I, I hope I'm hoping that works. Um, this looks kind of like mystical, those shapes when they come out. Let's see. I think I have to put my cat out. I have the door closed. Yeah, let's use the stars. It kind of goes with it. Hold on, baby. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. Kylie and Julie, do a tap dance, quick. Sorry about that, guys. She's not allowed in my husband's drone room, and I have to walk through his room to get to mine. Um, so I had to walk her through his room. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm going to stick this down and figure out how to get those stars on there, but we'll do that after. So I'm going to do this one first and do it in the, in the red. I think in the red. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, she's funny. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> okay, Kylie. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I need to drink mine. Okay, maybe the blue. I'll do the stars in blue. So we're gonna use red. So I'll end up pulling it out of the center. And I hope this works. We always just hope it works, right? It's more of a um, hold your breath and cross your fingers and your toes when you when you have an idea for the gel plate. As somebody that works intuitively and lets my project guide me, that doesn't always play out the way I expect it to. Okay. So I'm going to pull a little bit more of that off. And I want to remove the stuff in the center. Boy, that's a lot of pain on my stencil, though. Woo! I need something to put that on. Still. Okay. Got a baby wipe here. I'm going to try to wipe this off just in the center. You know, if I had pan pastels, they would probably work better. And I know Yolande, you would be able to master this with your pan pastels. Man, those are expensive though. Whew. I'm sure they would last a long time. I do have, you know, stick pastels, but I don't know if they're the same. I bet I can pull this. Let's see it. Oh, oh. oh no, 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 no. It, pulled, it tore the paper. I don't know why. Too wet. It's fine. That's where I put something. Look at the contrast. That's going to be so fun. Do you see a, a mime in front of it or, you know. <laughs> yeah, that will be fun. Except for the tear. That's okay. I got to get that off though. So we're going to leave that for a second. And I'm going to remove this bit. Anybody else out there power gel print? 
Where do you find a stencil like the circle one? Well, um, this one I think came from Timu. Um, I haven't had it that long and it's pretty cool. Actually. I love all the different marks on it. Maybe I need to create one like this, um, myself. I mean, I don't think it would be that difficult, uh, but something with a similar vibe would be fun. And then they would go together. Rhonda, that's up to you, I guess. Okay. So this is my inspiration and maybe I'll do it on this one too and find something cool. I'll let that dry before I add the stars. Put this away. Let's find something cool here. Maybe this is where I use this. You know what I don't like about a six by six stencil? They don't fit on most of the gel plates. So here I'm going to do the, the red still a little bit of red. Thank you, Uda. Thanks, Kylie. Um, so that red again. And if any of these are too bright for me in the end, I can just hit them with some uh, thin walnut ink spray and it will, you know, kind of dull out or brown out in a transparent way. The, the tones, it just kind of pushes it back. So I'm going to take that off, leave it like that. That looks like um, balloon animals. <laughs> It really does. <laughs> Do you guys see it? You can have a page with balloon animals and just draw them. I don't think it would be that difficult. <laughs> That's fun. Maybe some uh, creepy toys you get at the carnival, like rabies babies or, you know. <laughs> If you're going to go dark on this, that is. <laughs> so this is going to take a minute to dry. And when I'm done, I will probably go in with some of this and add some more detail. Let's take that away. Is this dry? Let's find out. Yep. It looks dry to me. All right. We're going to pull this one with the, oh, maybe this is the one with the cream, right? or cream and pewter. Let's fade it. Let's, let's do that. Fat daddy -o circle cake pans. That's how I got my <laughs> fat daddy. -o. <laughs> uh, you can paint it back in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it would just be fun to make a whole lot of characters. Um, you know, you know how I love to give uh, my favorite stamp some headdresses and, you know, I just think it would be a lot of fun to do that on these pages. That's way too much paint, but, you know, we'll get there. So I'm going to do the cream first. Let me turn this because, you know, this one. try not to pick up my paint. Oh, no, there's some red in there. That's okay. Maybe it'll turn out magical. Oh, just not pink, please. Take some of that off. No pink. I'm not a pink lover. Hey, have you guys seen the latest video? Uh, two videos, actually. Kylie and Peg put out their Tag a Sister videos. Did you guys see that? Um, so now we have the first round, which is the three of us. Um, I recommend going to check out and the prompt was a mixed media frame. So anybody that wants to play along, all you have to do is, you know, create your project, whether on YouTube or just, you know, in photos and tag us with hashtag tag a sister, and then maybe tag us personally so we can make sure to see it. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, Carrie, you, uh, if you haven't seen him yet, um, I think that you would 
feel pretty inspired by the three of them because there's so many different techniques and it, it, they just turned out so well. I'm, I'm impressed with uh, Peg and Kylie and I'm tickled with the way mine came out. I was so inspired after watching Kylie's that I started those other three frames. So yeah, I'm not liking the, the red that was on my brayer there at all. It kind of, well, it has a little pinky hue and I'm not sure about it. It's, it's cool. I mean, I could go back in and add more little shadow bits with the colored pencil or, you know, with some paint, but I don't like this color right here. That's not making me happy. However, and there's a whole bunch left behind. Let's just do a grungy background that I can do a, a print in reverse in. Um, so I'll start with whatever I would pull it with and then I'll pull with that page because I have this grunge on here already. So let me do that. Um, so as a background, it needs to be, I'm going to do darker this time and use some, I'll go back to the pewter and the blue, a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Here and there and I don't know if this is dried up or not this was the one that I was it's really thick I love thick paint though I love to use it like a texture paste so never never throw away your thick paint never 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 oh my gosh that that pinky color use that grungy grungy all over the place no lines though background Let's get rid of that. Got a, so these would be great to use some dyes and um, create some of your pieces that go into your collage see the pattern on here <laughs> do you see it <laughs> So there's a background we can pull with. Looks green because my plate's yellow. Which one did we have next? This one. Ooh, I'm excited about this. It's really not that hard. Um, oh, thank you, Charmaine. It was really fun doing the collaboration. And um, also, uh, Kylie is going to choose the subject next and tag um, Peg and I. So it should be a lot of fun. Paint on my hand. Oh, good. Julie, thanks for checking that. Okay. So we're going to pull, pull, pull here. It's on there, too. So these borders, that looks great. That's, that's nice and in dingy looking the way I want it, you know, in the colors that I want. Um, I'll probably cut these and use them like a border. Or I'll fold it in half first and see how it looks as, as an opposite page. Look at that. All right, and that's cardstock, so that'll be a good, really good page, I think. And this is where I would like to go in with, and I love doing this, um, where I'll give, hopefully it's not too much, I'll give it some highlights, like maybe it's lit up on this side. And maybe this side. And then, and I do this a lot. Um, and then on the other side, I'll do black, and it makes them look 3D. You can just use a marker for this too. That's what I'm grabbing here. And they, they end up in the background looking very 3D. It just gives them depth, you know. So I'm really happy with that. That's 
that is a good start, I think. All right. And how did we do with our inspiration here? Kind of, they go together nicely. I think I will use more pewter in this journal. There. All right. Next. I'm going to set this here. I'm trying to gather the pages that are dry for us to look at here. Um, next. Let's see. Oh, thank you, ladies. Thank you. I do have some homemade gel plates, um, though they don't work the same. They're, I mean, they work, but they're not the same. Um, they just, uh, not every medium pulls on them well. The paint ends up sticking. I um, messed with the recipe a lot to get it the same sort of harder texture. Um, and I did good there, but you're still, there's something missing um, with a homemade gel plate that I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. It's just not quite the same. All right, let's take some of these papers now um, and give them some extra color. And that's Rhonda's there. Let's see. These are all cardstock, and that's why I pulled them out. This one is just blue. So let's find some stencils. So I just, you know, want this to faintly show. It's fine. Um, and maybe I should put a pattern over it first. This was a ghost print. Uh, but I, I don't want to lose those completely. So it's going to have to be something kind of, I don't know. I might end up spraying it with this, with the walnut ink, um, just a really watered down version of it. And then maybe I'll put some patterns over this, some larger patterns. Does that sound good? Let's see what I have here. Something that'll go with it. Got my fan. Oh, hey, um, I said earlier, uh, I've kind of got an idea for the next journal, and I know I'm jumping ahead here, but if you guys want to start collecting, I think I want to do Moulin Rouge. What do you guys think? <laughs> Moulin Rouge would be so fun. Like um, all the feathers and the lace and the fluffy, but um, in, in a way that is, you know, Moulin Rouge inspired, sort of um, burlesque show. I just think it would be a blast. A bit of look at here. I didn't like any of those. Maybe some of, just some of these. There we go. Um, I do have a whole bunch of these. This is two different sets, and I love these borders. Love them. Um, let's see. We should choose one of these to go on that other print. They're good. Mm. So I know in the end that I'm going to do a wash of, um, and you can use coffee too. Coffee in a sprayer would work fine. If you're trying to tone down your colors, like, so they're not so white, like, like me, I don't know. Ne never was into lace anything. We well, don't have to put lace on it, but I think it would be really fun to do that burlesque sort of, um, there's a lot of black and a lot of red and, um, darker colors that, um, I just think it would be so fun. <laughs> um, Julie, does that, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. Ooh la la. Right. Kylie. <laughs> um, it would, Oh yeah. You could use satin. You could use, I mean, you don't have to use fabric. I just think it would be so fun. Sequins, all those things that we have in our room, but we don't break out are so useful for this or for that. I think. So um, I don't want to think about it too much and get way ahead of myself because it'll dampen the theme that we're doing next. But I, I definitely think I should uh, plan for that in the future. So, I mean, sometimes my brain will get stuck on something. I think I really like this one. And I think I'd like to use it just on one side. So if this is the top, let's say I fold this in half and I have cardstock behind here and I glue this down. You know, let's say I'm going to use it like that. Maybe this is the top, you know, like a border. And 
you know, then I can add all my other little bits. So I think I'm going to do that. That makes sense. Let's, uh, let's get them centered up here. Make sure they're straight, not straight. Mm. Did you guys see that um, the new Vera has come out? Um, well, some of, oh, I wish there were more hours in the day too. So much. Um, I always have lots of things I'd like to be doing, you know. I, I, I am trying to get back to the projects we can do together, like these journals, like these art journals, um, and, you know, combining the mixed media with it. I think that's, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to do a dark color. I'm just going to go with some navy blue, because then it'll also get a brown spray. So navy, uh, there's no pink on that. The little brayer is perfect for these borders. And I'm going to get to just pull this right away. So that, ah, it's annoying. And a lot of paint left on that. I'm going to go on the turquoise end of that. There we go. Any mistakes that happen, like a smudge of paint or whatever, that just means you got to put something there and it gives you an opportunity. And I like that. So I'm never mad at that. I, if I am not stuck on an idea too much, you know, like I, that's why I work intuitively. I just plan for, you know, stuff to happen. There we have it. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in my spray box so you guys can see what I mean. It doesn't matter if the paint's wet, it's a different, different sort of thing. It'll, it'll stay on there. It shouldn't wash out. The paint is plenty thick enough. So I have a box here. And I've got my walnut spray that we did in um, a live stream in these one of these continuous spray bottles that I love. And then this will get to dry inside of my box here. And there we have it. Yeah, Uda, it is totally an opportunity. Um, oh, I love Vera so much. And I look forward to Vera coming out every, you know, every time it, it, her seasons start. And I always wish they came in sooner because there was a huge break between the last one and the one that just came out. Huge. Um, it was surprising. So I do have this that I really like, but I wish it was opposite because this is, this is a mask. Um, so I would need to put some paint down first or use a painted background on it. Um, but I think this really goes with the theme. These, these sort of things, this is a die cut, by the way, it's not a stencil. It's just on chipboard. Um, these sort of stars with the, with the lines, connecting. I really like those. And I could see those around the head of one of the girls um, that I'm going to add or, you know, some sort of an image. I really like it, but let's find one that has some color in the background. Let me look through this little stack that I have here that I got out. So this is um, ink spray. Very cool. Something with some color. Maybe this is the time to use one of these roll offs. Or, you guys remember when I got out the baby powder a couple summers ago? And I was using baby powder on the plate and it created that texture and a resist. And that's what that's from. And it was like long forgotten. And I love these colors. So maybe that one. We can do it on both sides, perhaps. If it if it works. These stars have a tendency to move. Maybe watch this. I just had an idea. 
Oh no, she has an idea. Maybe I take a piece of paper here. And this here. Oh, I'm scared, but I'm going to try it. And use, hmm, what color? Just, um, oh, maybe one of these because they have that little bit of mica in them. That's brown. Oh, that one is the moon. Oh, that one might work. I have some of these that I made too, but, and then if I can. I just want that to show up and hold still and it should sparkle so we'll find out okay and I wiped my nose so I'm gonna move this and I should have put it in my box because it's gonna be difficult to move but I wonder if I can just take this and go this way So then I might be able to cut that out and use it. I was hoping the sparkles would show up. And they did, actually. Let's find out. Oh, cool. That was when I, back when I had the Cricut, um, subscription which was stupid because I never ever used it uh, and I paid for it for like a year and a half and I forgot about it and you know um, yeah <laughs> apparently <laughs> oh you have uh, fires where you're at I don't think we do um, it's too cold right now and we're just having rain 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 so I'm gonna set this off to dry and when it dries it'll look a little bit different dry then i can go back over those lines with a colored pencil and pull those those that design out i could also use that with ink but i really like it okay so how about if i create some borders this time that i can harvest and cut out and add to pages and i'll do it in the colors that we've been using so i'm just going to pick three of these just that one and I do really really like that one and there's still a little bit of this left on here but I'm not concerned and maybe I'll just go with that it's a really old one so press that down and then let's give this some crazy colors like the inspiration so the pewter again so navy blue and then pewter and then pull with cream what do you think I didn't know that they oh bye Carrie thank you for coming really appreciate it it was nice to catch up Okay, so I use a little bit of that blue and maybe a little bit of, this one's really thick. I can't use that one. Mm, I know I have another dark blue right here. Just a different shade, perhaps. Where is it? Pavement. There we go. English Navy. It's a little darker. We'll find out. Oh, that one's really thin. I probably need shaken. Boy, I'm gonna shake this. So I'll just cut these out, you know? 
we're going to do a, kind of a long haul with these. I want to get it in the edges. So I want kind of a shadow. It's just not getting in there. Okay, so I'm going to pull it with some tissue, which I haven't done a whole lot of. And I can also use the tissue borders on top of, you know, contrasting colors. Put another color down. Oh, well, those are nice. And they'll look good glued down to something. Set it somewhere here. All right, and then the lighter blue or the pewter next. The pewter, right? Okay. Yeah, nothing comes cheap now. Everything has gone up um, so much. Like, groceries have really jumped. Let's see if that's enough. Maybe. I like that stencil. It looks kind of like leaves with all those little sharp edges. I guess I'll evaluate it when um, it gets pulled. Really like the curls though. They're nice. Okay, so I gotta let this dry before I can pull it. I'm gonna set it aside. See. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. This is oh yeah. All right. Darn it. I, sorry, I was reading chat and I didn't even notice that. I was just pulling, reading chat. That's okay. That pattern is still there and it'll create some nice grunge in a minute here. So we'll add some multiple patterns to it. I don't hate that, but it's not my favorite. I mean, it's okay. I don't, uh, I kind of really like this happening. <clears throat> kind of really. It's because I just conditioned my plate that it, and it crazed and I, this time I don't actually like it. Okay. So I want to put a multi, uh, design stencil on here. So I'm going to pick one out that I have already here. I've got kind of one in mind here. A bigger one. Sorry, I'm off camera right now. I'm um, going through my stencil folder that I pulled out for this today. Um, <clears throat> something with the round shapes still, yet different. Look at that. This one's only been used once, I think. See, it's bigger. It's similar. Kind of goes together. All right, we're going to use that one. Let's do it. Just don't like that these lines are gonna be here. Hi, Mo. Welcome back. Oh, you've been lurking. Oh, I'm. You know, I'm out of practice. That's okay. It's okay to be out of practice. Um, but thank you. 
So let's go with, I want some different colors this time. Maybe I need a green. What do you guys think? Or maybe I should go to this, back to this color. It's been a while. This one's okay. Sort of bluey color. My plate looked like a moon for a moment. <laughs> uh, Celicia was so funny. When I first got these plates um, and I was doing the baby powder resist, uh, she was calling them Planet Sharon, and it was hilarious <laughs> to me. Or Planet Texture Junkies. I, I can't remember which or the other. I thought it was so funny because they all end up looking like planets with the resist on them because it creates that. Um, maybe I need to get the resist out. Uh, it creates, you know, patterns and more grunge in the end. That one looks awfully thin to me. Mm. I'm going to let that dry and I'm actually going to go over it with another color and try not to pull that that's there while I do it and then pull the whole thing because we have this. Ooh. That. Very excited about these. Um, do you find that when you're really excited about something, they're the ones that you like the least and the ones you think you're not going to like are the ones that you like the most quite often. That happens to me quite often. Could you dab the paint on with a sponge to avoid the lines? Oh, I could have, I guess, or I could have used a brush. Um, you know, uh, the big rectangular background you have drawing on the plate can't wait to see it on paper the big rectangular background drawing on the plate i have no idea what that means i'm trying <laughs> back to the subject of different topics to make burlesque i think that reds and all dark colors are a challenge for me yeah i i don't use red very often although i love red um I think that uh, I need to reach for it more. And this specific project that we're doing, because I'm going to have the red and white stripes that go with it, I think that the the red is important. So I need to reach for it, you know, but not a bright red. This is a flamenco red, and it's a little more bricky, which is perfect for me. So we're back to our this. Okay, so I'm going to do the stars. I'm going to dab those in with the sponge as like Kylie was saying with the sponge at this. So, or let's see if I have a smaller one. Yeah, I can just use this. Okay. So I'm going to use the blue here. I don't want to pick up that paint, but it is dry. So I can set that down. Let me arrange my stars. And I'm just going to use some of this. No, this was the color we wanted for this, right? Because it matches more. So I'm just going to use some of this. Dab them in. Now, of course, I could wait until I get this constructed. And I will be doing some adjusting on some of the things. But, you know, and, and go in and do it with ink after even. And a, and a brush. That would work fine. These are just, you know, some were getting done ahead. There's my stars. And I'm going to pull this. This needs two more colors. I need to figure out how to get the terracotta in there and the blue. So maybe another pattern behind it. I haven't layered any patterns, have I? Maybe one of these other geometric ones that I haven't pulled out yet. Just a sec. And just a moment. Something like. No. No, 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 no. Got them separated into folders. So I've got the, the stencil container 
that they all stand up in, but I pulled out quite a handful for this today um, to play with. Maybe, does this one go? Maybe just like that. Got stripes. Sorry, I can't see chat right now, guys. I hope I hope you're good. Oh, I forgot about that. Look at these steampunk stencils. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe like that. Do we like it? do that or that okay I'm gonna do that Stargate yeah it does look like that <laughs> I haven't pulled out any gold I think this is probably a um, record for me to not have the gold out yet so I'm going to use, I'm going to go with a darker color to make sure it shows up. So a little darker blue. And try not to pull up any of that red. So I'm going to try to go over it quickly. We'll see. This is when I'll get like super excited about thinking it's going to be so awesome. And then the paper will rip or, you know, that's how it works though, isn't it? The one it's usually the ones I I try to layer that um sometimes go astray. So <laughs> we'll see. Oh, thanks, Julie. Uh, there a lot of them are just really cheap stencils, and a lot of them I had um and I collected for quite a while. And some I haven't even used it yet, and I have forgotten. Um, these are a newer set here and they're very steampunk. I really like the shattered glass here, but it also is that starburst that I can put behind things so I could cut it out. Yeah. I haven't even used like this one or this one yet. So I, they're, these ones are not that old though. Okay. I'm going to pull this up. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Now, I don't know what it's going to look like on the other side, but I'm happy with that. And now I know to go in the opposite way if I, you know, if I want to cr create that the other way around. So let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm liking the grunge around here. I'm going to let this dry. Let's. Get this one back up to that ground. Let's see what I got here. I think this one's dry. See, I need more plates, guys. Okay, so it's nice and light there. And then pull with. Does it need one more stencil? Should we should we risk it, guys? We could risk it. Should I? Like with one of these circle ones, maybe? not really big enough. I wish it would go all the way across the plate. Maybe like just some inside. Just those ones with this one. Oh yeah, Lexi. I I'll pull like if, and then I get frustrated if I start pulling ugly prints and it's probably because I'm frustrated or I'm trying to do too much. Really? I, I think that probably happens, you know, where I start pulling up paint that I didn't mean to pull up or because I'm trying to get super fancy with it. So it's not working. I just want to let that fade out right there. Okay. And then Maybe um, I'm looking for a way to not have a line. So maybe just 
you. Hopefully I didn't just lay that in wet paint and I'll be disappointed. Okay. I'm, I'm not disappointed in that. And I'll be pulling that with cream to make sure that this blue shows. Yeah. Sometimes I think um, I end up doing them backwards. Like I, I think they would have looked good the opposite way. And that's where I get frustrated too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll get like more ugly prints than, uh, you know, than others. It's just, that's how it works. Um, and that's okay. Uh, and then I also pull a lot like this because I know I'm going to layer on top of it. I think our big plate here is ready. Looky here, our borders. So here I'm going to pull with, I kind of want to pull with like this color, I think. This sort of terracotta rust. Yeah, I think that's pretty normal for us, Sonia. Those, I mean, like Patricia, she gel prints every day. If we gel printed every day, our brains would work, you know, to figure out the order in which to put things in our brain better, I think. Um, gel printing every day makes a big difference, for sure. Yeah, it does get frustrating. And then you end up, you know, walking away and not, why is it pink? And not spending time with your plate. I don't know how that got on there. That is not... That, that had to come off the stencil, off the other side. There's bits of pink. <laughs> um, but I get frustrated and walk away and then I don't gel print for a while if, you know, if I'm really frustrated. And that's the sad part, really, I think. Um, it's not something that I want to do every day, though. It's just, you know, how it is. Um, I'm going to go with terracotta and terracotta and terracotta. I can't think. I think I need more coffee. So I changed my diet the other day. I had been on a diet since January 1st and hadn't lost a pound, guys. Not a pound. Nothing. <laughs> so, um, I really needed to change something. It just wasn't working. So I downloaded an app on my phone that I can put my, you know, calories in and, and I always round up to make sure that I'm good. Um, so I put the calories in and track my day and it tells me that I can eat like 16 something calories a day and I'm keeping it under 12. Um, and so it's actually, I've already lost two pounds. <laughs> The keto just wasn't cutting it, you know, <laughs> two whole pounds already. And it, it's only been, it was less than a week. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Charmaine, the colors are sometimes difficult because we're trying to think backwards. So it's really it's hard for our brains to, I mean, we're already using our brain to be creative. So then adding in, you know, trying to think backwards and about what's going to show through. I mean, it, P just makes it look easy, but she does it every day. So. Um, the papers that come with your prescriptions, those are really good to gel print on because they're a, and I use them to like for my roll offs. Uh, they're usually longer and they're a cross between regular paper and um, tissue paper. They're a medium thickness. Uh, what is the 1200? I tried color combo. My favorite, I think, better way to do it. I missed something. I need a step-by-step -step tutorial. 
Um, I'm good with mixing colors. I can mix colors. That's great. But you've got to think about it backwards with the gel plate. Unless you... Oh! Okay, so my plate's yellow. This looks good the way it is. It's not going to look like that. Because my plate's yellow. But I I love it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. That almost looks gold in there where that pewter is because of that um, color behind it. Yeah, Lexi, I, I grabbed the same colors. Well, those are our colors. They really are. Um, I mean, if you have favorite colors, it's it's nice to stretch, though. So I'm really, really tickled with that. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here. And we're going back to our circles again. Here we go. All dry. I, I really like, I should do the opposite with the stencils. Okay, so our... So we need some terracotta in there, I think. And why don't I just pull them with some terracotta? I feel like this one wants cream. Um, how do I add some terracotta? I have an idea. Well, okay, I got it. You see this? I've got a punch right here. A large circle punch. I'm going to punch out on one of these pieces of scrap that I've got here. A circle and put it in the middle. And then I'm going to try to put terracotta around it. Does that make sense? Is that the way to do it? Okay. I get that out. It's not really big enough, is it? Right in the middle and try not to pull up those stars that are there though they're dry so it should be okay it's my biggest circle punch too okay now i'm going to put a little terracotta on there this i never reach for um like lime green or those sort of bright sunny colors um oh you have to leave in 10 minutes that's okay we understand um, yeah, it is 2.51. Well, we actually are done. Wow, that flew, you guys. It went so fast. It is almost 3 o'clock, which means it is almost time to be done. So let me do this real quick because it's in my hand. And then I will pull out the things that we've done so far. And I hope I talked about everything that I needed to talk about with the... I'm just going to roll some of that over gently just a thin 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 layer and try not to pick up the red there we go and then what if i just do that because it's on my brayer there we go i'm gonna pull this up okay now i have a fun circle to play with um so Anyway, thank you so much for being here, you guys. It was a really fun stream. It was fun to get out the gel plate, and I hope it wasn't too confusing or boring. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of us do use a gel plate, and um, it's nice to... I usually try to find projects I can do with the gel plate, you know? So that's usually my goal. Um, okay, so what do we have here? We have... I'm going to put this aside turn it over first. Look at that. And then I'll use cream to pull them. I'm happy with those. And I love the grunge on there. All right. Let's put that away. Should we pull this last one before we go? See if it's ready. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it was a great conversation. It was a lot of fun. Um, let's, this is not dry yet, but it will be. And I probably will go back in with a an oxide, I think, and then, um, because I think it'll show up better. And we've got some to glue down to the edges. We've got this one that I'll be folding in half and going from there. Um, got that one, which needs some work, but that's okay. I'm really happy with these. Not with that though. That's the kind of stuff that happens with my favorite ones right there, right there. 
got this one here, which I love. And those will get probably cut off and used as borders. Here was my inspiration. Um, I've got the steampunk gears that are rusty. Let's see. I know there's more. I know there is. Uh, got some tissue that I pulled that I haven't used or I haven't done anything else with here. Let's pull these out. Um, there's more. I know there's more. Oh, there's one in the spray box. Uh, let's grab that. Grab that real quick. Still drying, but there it is. And it's going to be beautiful, you know, folded in half and used. Remembering that we're only, I guess I could have brought that down because those corners are going to get cut off. Um, probably something I should have kept in mind when doing things like that. And I will next time. But I like that. Now, I think this might, I hope this is my favorite one today. I hope, I hope, and I hope it pulls. Let's find out. Oh, snap. Are we ready? A comment on the comments. Definitely not boring. Oh, oh, you guys are the best. I am loving this. Oh my goodness. It's even better than through the yellow plate. Oh, it's beautiful. There's a shine on this from the pewter with the blue outlines. Um, it does look like iron with a shadow. Oh, I love it. I just love it. It's good. I'm so sorry about the glare, you guys. I did move my lamp and the darkness over here. All right. It is 2.56. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. And I just love each and every one of you. And thanks for being here. Um, I got to find my mouse here. Hold on just a sec. All right. And you guys all have a great weekend. I will see you in the morning at the PM Artist Studio stream. And uh, thanks for being here. Oh, Marta, I didn't say hello. Look at me with the long goodbye. Thanks, Marta. Thank you, Marguerite. Thanks, Kylie, Julie. Thanks, Heather, Mo. Oh, you guys have a great day. Bye.